Hey, Ravidus here. Welcome to another Sunday live stream where we are back with Minecraft. Now you may, may be wondering to yourself, Hey, Rav, why isn't your lips matching what you're saying? And what are you doing on screen right now? Well, we had some technical issues with the audio. And I had to use other ways of doing it. But the beginning parts of this episode kind of got screwed up. But to give you a little recap, uh, what happened was... With all our automated systems, we have overloaded our storage capacity. So I am currently working on fixing that and uh, by and also adding upgrades to our solderers to, so we can get things and actually follow in with our plan, which is to make an auto breeder so that way we can kill some cows and get some mob bits. So enjoy. A chicken. Chicken facing the other way. Anyway. And then just surround one of these flowers with it. It's like, yeah, there you go. You'll see where it's, you're starting to get particle effects. Yep. Poof. Wait for it. Wait for the poof. Wait for it. Get out of my face, pig. Wait for it. If we get, really get into Batania, we can automate this with the, uh, the thing that places blocks from refined storage. Right. <laughs> Wait for it. I'm waiting for it. <sighs> I actually don't remember what the, uh, actual time on this is too long oh poof 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 poof, poof. all right <laughs> the last one didn't want to uh, pig was in the way okay so pickaxe yep you could just vein mine it Lapis. oh that's right all right i have eight of those now yay all right. Okay, I need to make some red dye. So now I need the meta pearl, meta pearl or a meta diamond. Yes. Doesn't really matter which one, because we've got plenty of both, I think. Alright. So, go over here. Toss those in there. So, mana... In a bottle. Do we have beets by chance or poppies? Oh. I need flowers. We don't have plenty of uh Do we have beets or poppies, you said? Yeah. I need beetroot, poppies, I need something that makes red die. Um Okay. We have two poppies. Good enough. Um we don't actually have the mana pearls or mana diamonds, but you can yep. turn a diamond or a pearl into it. Yes, I just looked that up. So that I will need a lot more dye. I need nine. I need eight. Um. Well, you can bone meal some grass. We don't have anything automated for that yet. All right. So I just need to toss it in our altar. Um. Not into our altar, but into our mana pool, which is this thing right here. Oh, I see it. And there's a check mark. That we shows have. Me. Yep. We have enough mana. All right, so hit Q. Yep. Q. Mana diamond. Good. That's how mana pools work. Okay. So at no. least for that use. <laughs> Sheep, get back in there. I guess we'll need to move those pure daisies because the living rock gave the animals a way to get out. <laughs> okay, I need. All right, so. Oops. And. All right, I have a runic altar. Sweet. Okay, I'll so throw the rest of the living rock into the uh, into the grid. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna break these pure daisies with them somewhere else. All right. Besides, we could use this room for the runic altar. Yeah. Can Rather than that go... grass patch. Make sure that it's lined up with this mana pool. All right. So, so somewhere along this line. 
like right here, so the animals can't use it to get out. Right click or shift yep. right click. Okay, apparently that. Right, right. There we go. There you go. Now you've got a runic altar. Yay! Now, rabbit hole time again. Great. You need to get mana from the pool into the runic altar. Uh huh. Which means you need one of these, which is a mana spreader. Oh, okay. And put it right in between them. Well, you have to put it butted up against the mana pool, pointing okay. at the runic altar. All right, so mana spreader. That's my next thing I need to look up. The pure daisies are over here for now, by the way. Because I think you're going to need them for this next step. All right, mana spreader's not showing up in my recipe list. Oh, we weird because it should. We have 381 die okay. essence. Found it. So I need living wood in, I guess, any color petal. That's right. So, and you just uh, move the, uh, the daisies? Yep, I've they're got, over here. Got A red. rule of thumb with petals, by the way, is uh -huh. never use the last petal, because you All can right. turn it into more flowers. Okay. Red, so. lapis, yellow... I need green dye. So I need re just regular uh, oak wood? Yeah, make sure it's the, the logs and not the plank. Oak wood, just like straight out of a tree. Yep. I really wish that this game called them oak logs, but, you know, you don't get what you want all the time. Yep. All right. Okay, I have to cook a cactus for green dye. Yep. So that will be Boop. fine. I've got bone meal. I've got ink sacks. Uh, Wait, we already we have... have. Do we have dye essence? Yes, okay. that's. But uh, but we also have cactus. So. Okay. I forgot you can make any color out of dye essence if you wanted. All right. So. Let's go ahead and use a white petal because we have 21 of those. But yeah, always make sure before you use a petal that we have either more petals or another flower. Right. That way we don't have to try to grow them randomly. Right. Stop staring at me, cow. Why are you half health, cow? Is that health or what? No, I guess it's not health. It's just growth. Oh, get my wood's almost done. Uh, that's axe because you need wood, right? Or, yep, you got it. I think I it's axe it. anyway. I don't have an axe. You may be because... able to just punch it too because it's wood. Oh yeah, yeah. And we have a lot of nether quartz chicken eggs. <laughs> Oh, sorry, you actually need a weapon before you, with, before you could, like, uh, do the, the... Oh, the vein mining, yeah. So just put anything in your hand. You could use even, like, the Lexica Batan again or whatever. Good idea. In the early game, I was using saplings for, for vein mining. There we go. Oh, there's Got a... That. I forgot that we have a crafting table in here, because I was using Batania earlier. So oh, you don't yeah, have to run all the way back. You just use this oh, one. Oh, good. It's not quite a refined storage terminal, but... Yeah. So, meta spreader with the white. Yellow. Might as well put the extra living wood into the iron chest. Yeah. All right. All right, so... Mana spreaders will point at you by default. So you'll want to oh, okay. stand over here. And then... So where I am right now, and then... Right in front of the, the pool? Yep. Like that. Yep, there you go. Now, if this requires mana, because there's stuff on it, this spreader will pull it from this pool and shoot it at the uh, the altar. Okay. Just like... Uh, so what is this one here for? This one is collecting mana from these flowers. Oh, okay. So to get mana, you drop anything flammable, like any kind of furnace fuel, like uh -huh. this oak wood. 
and it's not working for some reason. Hang on. What's going on here? Oh, they're not linked up for some reason? There we go. Oh, there it goes. Here, you can have that. Okay. That is essentially your wrench for this mod. Oh, okay. You'll notice as you're holding it, it gives you a little bit more uh, particle effects going around. Probably. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see it. But, yeah, that tells you how things are connected. Okay, so I see this flower has a check mark next to it, and the one closer to the mana spreader does not. Oh, I guess I didn't link that properly. Okay, so shift right click on the flower that does not have the check mark. Shift right click. Got it. Okay. Oh, it looks like you hit the mana spreader. Okay, so shift right click the mana pool then? No, uh, the mana spreader. Alright, shift right click the <clears> mana spreader. <throat> Alright. Okay, now since the mana spreader turned for whatever reason, shift right click the mana spreader and then shift right click the pool. Yeah. There you go. That's how you can turn the mana spreaders after. I like how it's looking down a bit. Yeah. It points right at whatever you uh, set it to. Okay. So now that to get flower. mana. Oh, yeah, the flower is still not checked. Okay, so shift right click the flower again. Got it. And then the mana spreader. All right. Check, check. Good. All right. Now you don't get a ton of mana from this, but it should be enough for what we're doing at the moment. All right. In the book, you'll see generating flowers, and that's all the ways to get mana. Okay. But you end up playing through the most basic way. Okay. So, so now no. we have all of the. I think we have all of the tools that we need to make the uh, uh, the flower that we want. All right. Now it's just a matter of making every. All right. So. Yeah, we need the runes of fire and lust. Mm-hmm. So you might want to look up the lust one first. What a bad feeling about this. All right. Shift click to see recipe. All right. Mana time and mana time, and so we need the rune of summer and air. Uh huh. You like rabbit holes, right? Oh, uh, here we go. Earth and air. Slime ball, sand. Well, both of them require air, so I need two airs, but this will make two airs. And I think you keep. If you use a rune to make another rune, I think you keep the uh, the lower level rune. Okay, but Let's either way, I need the the root of air should be my next priority then. And it doesn't Str say in there, but every rune also requires a piece of living rock at the end. That's part of just using the runic altar. Okay. So... Let's close this for a second and get over to the grid. You you may be beginning to see why I said, uh, Batania, last time we played. Yeah. So, feather, string, I know those were a couple of the pieces. Now I need carpet. Carpet, which is made of wool. Alright, so... Is that wood connected to our... Well, let's just do it this way. Alright. Carpet. Just imagine any carpet will oh. do. I know where the zombies are coming from. Where? <laughs> this crafting station. <laughs> There's a, a yellow X just on this crafting station. I didn't know they could spawn on a crafting station. That's kind of funny. Yep, it is a full block, so they can, in fact, spawn on it. Ugh. And that's the only spawning area I can see, which would explain why they come from that way. Oh, wait. Wait, no. Ah, oh, there is exposed wood on this tree. It's the acacia wood, which is causing a problem as well. Because there is a block that does not have leaves on it that is two blocks high. Alright, that and while I'm Oh right, I was gonna make the mega torch. Yep. 
Um, you should be good on your own with Batania now. Let me know if you need help. All right. By the, the way, we, have four, annoying, we, now but... have, we now have 448,000 in the disk drive. That's impressive. Is it still making more? Uh, no, I need to make one more. Oh, okay. Oh, I see a... Oh, that's the fluid one. Never mind. Like, I see it in the system. There we go. That will make that. Yep. Batania is wanted... super annoying, but at least it is well documented. Like, that book is super comprehensive. Yep. Oh, we don't have enough emeralds. But we can craft them. Um, but I will not use the automated crafting, because uh, that is... Uh... Oh, we can't craft them, because we don't have enough stuff. Maybe I can't make the Mega Torch yet. I'm making the last 64k disc, but I also put a pattern in for carpet because reasons. Okay. So I have the feather, I have the string, I have the carpet. Now I need Meta Powder and Meta Steel Ingot. Come on, you. So, if I, I would imagine the mana steel ingot would probably require mana powder itself. No. Maybe? No. Mana steel ingot requires a iron ingot and that mana pool. Oh, I see. So, I would need an iron ingot. Easy enough. We have 27,000 of those. Uh -huh. We have right. a few irons. Yeah, just a few. And then we needed the mana powder. Which is, again, the pool and pretty much any powder. Yep. Like sugar. I did that not actually know that sugar accounted for that. I was like glowstone, redstone, gunpowder, sugar, huh? We cool. have uh, we have more redstone though. But we have four we have three K redstone. Yeah, I'll just use redstone. Boop. That is neat. Thank you, Seth. I did not know that you could right click on the wheat and it would uh break it and automatically replant. Oh yeah, yeah. That's uh I don't remember which mod does that in this. Cause... Like I said, we don't have agri-craft, but something does that. Quite cool. It, it really looks like that chicken just can walk out of the pen and into our base proper. What chicken? Uh, the, the black chicken. Uh, negative. He stays in that pen. Yeah. I'm saying, I said it looks like... Alright, so, dump this in the mana pool, boop, dump this in the mana pool, boop, alright. So, that should give me everything I need for a rune, uh, for two runes of air. And you said I needed, uh, uh, living stone for this? Yep. Or living rock, whatever it's called. Living whatever. The living whatever that's not wood. Yep. Oh, we actually have a ton of it. Oh, ma was I making it for some reason? Uh, oh, maybe. Do you want me to uh, stone or the wood? Uh, stone. Yeah. Okay. okay. I was going to say, we have uh, more wood than we have stone. Well, it's good that I taught you how to make that anyway. I must yep. have made more than I remembered making. Okay. Um, so now I have all the ingredients in my inventory. And, and you I have, have that some living stone. And you have the wand of the forest still, right? Yes. Because you will need that. Okay. So. How do I use 
this. You take the ingredient and either drop it on, like you did for the mana pool, or just right-click with the ingredient. Okay, so take each of the ingredients and then right-click it on the altar? Yep. That there, so let's take the mana steel ingot, right-click. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. <laughs> As it clips through your head. Oh yeah, it's a clipping to, uh, I can see it in front of me. All right. That sound means you put a valid recipe in and it's going to start getting mana. Okay. And you can see to your left the uh, mana spreader yeah. is doing. I see the cows are all confused about it, their googly <laughs> eyes. And that should be to... obvious when the mana when the rune is ready and it says living stone one so i right click with the one you right click with the living stone right click with the living stone i think you right click with it you might have to drop it on there oh there you go and then you right click with your wand you have to do it pretty quick because the uh the stone drops itself All right right you click. picked up this stone again so oh and you have to do it kind of quick all right so Kaboom. I have runes of error. All right. Also, if you want to find out how much mana we have, you can right-click with the wand on the mana pool. All right. Get It'll probably be my... very low because it can hold a lot, but... Right-click with the, uh, the one in the mana pool? Yep. Yeah, it looks like it's very low. It can hold a lot, but as long as it's got some, you're good for now. All right. Like, super, super, super low. I mean, I can barely see, like, maybe two pixels worth. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. Anyway. Let's get back into the book. We head back. So now I need Earth. So, I'm going to need more mana powder and more mana steel. As well as stone, block of coal, and a mushroom. Whoop. All right. So I will need that for the steel. I will need that for the powder. Now I need a mushroom, which we have plenty of. Good. Oh, the carpet's back in there. Uh, I needed... Oh, didn't need to do that. All right. Uh, block of coal, stone. So, let's go... Just need one stone. We don't have a pattern for blocks of coal, so you know what? I'm going to go ahead and make it just so we can... Uh... This is a super simple recipe to make. I love automating things. What are you doing on me, by the way? And what this is about. <laughs> yep. Grab that. Grab you. I thought you were going to take a water chip. Okay, well... While we're at it, there we go. 512k! Woo! See if that's enough to uh, fully replace our chest. Yes, it is. Alright. Um, do we have anything crafting, or can I use that? Uh, flint plus white. It's going to make an importer real quick. Alright. Oh yeah, nice and fast. Lock up coal. Here we go. Now you may lose access to some items for a little bit. All right. When it's on an importer, it doesn't show up them. Uh huh. But uh, for everyone involved, in the end, stack upgrade. I needed to make a block of coal. 
There we go. Block of coal. I don't know how it picks which stack it's pulling, but it's pulling them randomly. All right. Actually, I'm going to borrow some speed upgrades from this solder. I'll All right. Back when I'm done, though. Because I can do stack and speed up. So I need to toss mm -hmm. them in. There we go. All right, I have everything I need for the earth. Let's actually set my inventory up a little bit better for this. Oh yeah, that's satisfying when you can see the stuff disappearing out of the colossal chest. <laughs> And everything froze for me. Okay. Hopefully it unfreezes. It unfroze. Yeah, you may be getting some... Uh... Oh, lag because of the chest? Yeah, both tick lag and FPS lag. Sibling. Right. Oh, crap. That All right, how not... do I know if the runic altar has enough mana? Um, if you stop seeing particles from the mana spreader, then you've run out of mana. Okay, because I see the two particles floating above it, so... Uh, well, actually, you don't know. There's no having enough unless you have a recipe. Okay. Because each recipe requires a different amount of mana, so we'll just sit okay. there and not do anything. So, let's do this. Yeah, see those particles that just started showing up? Uh-huh. If those stop, then you need more mana. Okay, so it's good Good now, then. Yes. All right. I mean, it could stop in the middle of the recipe, but it doesn't, like, undo your progress or anything. Okay. And did you say, oh, crap, uh, Zen? Yeah, I threw one of my eggs on accident. <laughs> Get wrecked egg. All right. And it did right. not breed the chicken that I needed. Uh. All right, Roots of Earth done. Let's go back. Now I need sand, easy, slime ball, and melon. I think we can we either have or can craft melons out of uh, nature essence. All right. Let's go take a look. Let's see. We have first. I want to look for the slime. No, we don't have anything slime. can we make slime balls? So first let's go for the, the melon. Uh, sure magma cream and water might work. Well, actually you need slime to make magma. Uh... Oh, if I do uh... uh nine nature essence I can get uh, eight melons and then melons I guess one melon in and it will unmake it or so I need melon oh, slices you need slices or it slices yeah okay you just put it on the ground and then hit it with an axe or whatever okay or your bare fists or whatever you want to hit it with Okay, but well first let's uh, automate making melons. Did I not set that up already? Let's see. Nope. Yeah, I guess I didn't. I put a bunch of nature essence stuff in the crafter, but I guess not that one. Alright, well, let me make a. Uh... Okay. Let me get my pattern. See if we actually have slime in the uh, colossal chest still. It does not look like it. I have two slime trees. That actually might work. Uh, the I have uh, congealed sl green slime blocks in my chest over here that's separated from everything. Do, do, do. Make one melon? Yes, you can. Actually, that's perfect. You have saved the day. 
because Yay! you can put a congealed green slime block in your crafting grid and it turns into slime balls. Awesome. So first, let me put down this melon, and then I can punch it. And I get melon. Yay. Just what I needed. Oh, wait. I did need this. Let's see. Need sand. There are also... Freaky. By the way, you know that there are menril berries in the chest by this little mini farm that is apparently not connected to the crafting to the grid. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, five stacks of menril berries over here. Cool. Since you were asking about them. All right. So you have the the slime. They are over here. <laughs> 